Hello guys, welcome to Helpful Solutions. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Slack for Gmail in super easy and super simple steps. So let's dive in and see how we can do it. Of course, to use Gmail for Slack, first we would have to go ahead to the app section, as you can see, like on the left part, and it's the last option you can click on. We will click on add apps. And from here, I will write in the search bar Gmail. And of course, I will see Slack for Gmail, as you can see right here. It's the second row, second option. And I will say add, but it will send me to a new web browser. So I will see you guys there. As you can see, this is the Slack app directory page. And from here, I can just use the green button and say add to Slack, of course like this and it will send me to the Google Workspace Marketplace. So I have to install this to my Google page actually. Now I can just say allow and Slack for Gmail has been installed. So it's technically using the Gmail parts more heavily. So I will just say done. Then I would have to go into my Gmail to actually use it fully. I will just go from the uh, Google web browser, like Chrome. Now I can just click on, as you can see, Slack was installed. And I can just get started by opening an email or a conversation. I will click the Slack email. Now, as you can see, I after I click on an email, I can just connect my account to Slack. I will just connect it to, okay, this account is okay. This can be used. Now it's verifying your account. As you can see, the new Slack app is installed. And from here, you can just like send this email to other channels, other people, other, like, of course, persons. I will just search channels and people to send this email to actually someone else. I can select my workspace. Now from after selecting my workspace, I can select a channel actually. I will send it to my YouTube channel in my Bicosmic 2 workspace. I will select the general, you know what, why not, let's say general. Then I will send it to general saying, hi guys, new email. And I will send it to general. And then it's sent to, so like if I go into Slack, browse my other workspace, go into general, you will see that the new email is here and I can just click on it and read it as perfect as possible. And this is generally how you do it. And I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If it was, don't forget to give us a like and maybe even subscribe to our channel. But in any other case, I hope to see you guys in the next video as well. Have a great day and goodbye.